There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, uh, Mother, uh, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Uh, will you give us a little background, Ma? Your religious background, Muna, in the past, how you grew up. Don't look at me, Ma. Just look, look yeah, at the yeah, people. Yeah. Okay. I am a close Catholic. Sarado. Nakatandali pa. You know, with the, what do you call it? Sarado. 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 So, I grew up because my parents and my grandparents, they were all Catholic. So, when they go to church, I go with them during, how would you call this, uh, you, you you do the 12 station, but we call that in, yeah, in Station the of the Cross. Yeah, yeah, Station of the Cross. So I go with my grandfather, with my grandmother, my mother. So that is how I grew up with them. And uh, I just pray with my prayer book, not from the heart, because I don't know how to pray from the heart. You know? so, Ma, yeah. uh, you told us a lot of story about uh, during the Japanese War, the, the World War II. Mm -hmm. So when you were going, just give us a little background on that. During the Japanese war, you know the Japanese likes me very much because I look like Japanese. I was so chinky. So I go to the camp. <laughs> they give me sugar. They give me milk. And I was happy because I have younger brothers. So I go there every day. I always said something to take home. And they love me so much. <laughs> and one time I made, I told them a story that is not true. This uh, is uh, some a captain asked me, um, "Where's your mom?" Oh, I said my mom is Japanese. <laughs> I said, "Oh, I go to visit her." I don't know. I ran home. Mom, 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 the captain is coming to visit you. Why? I told him. I told him you're Japanese. Oh my goodness! Then the captain came. I said. I'm sorry, I just said my mom is Japanese because she said I look like Japanese. <laughs> I said, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe I was eight years old. <laughs> okay, let's move forward. Okay. How did you meet my dad, who's a Muslim? Um, I had several admirers. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> and they were all good looking. I'm scared of good looking guys because, you know, the good-looking guys, women are after them, and I want to have a boyfriend that is only mine. <laughs> uh, of course, you don't shame. So, um, I have several yeah, Muslim so Muslim admirers. They were all they were all attorneys. They were all lawyers already. But I was still in school. I was second year college of law, and uh, and uh, some are good-looking, so I ignore them. But my husband was... He's ugly. No, no, no. <laughs> he's a good personality. Not a good personality. And he's uh, not... See, he, he was quiet. He doesn't talk too much like the other guys, you know. They mm -hmm. say, you're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my husband was just quiet. So one day, he said to me, will you marry me? I said, <laughs> I might have misheard what he said. So I was doing like that. I did not answer. Then he just kept coming to my school, sitting down on the chair of my professor, because he's much older than me, 10 years older. So again, he said, after one month, will you marry me? I just keep quiet. He didn't even say she likes me or, you know, he doesn't marriage God. Marriage God. And then he was so patient. He comes to the house every day from nine o'clock up to nine o'clock in the evening. Oh, okay, ma. Then we'll skip because that's the last story now. Okay. <laughs> so what I wanted to, to hear is that since dad was a Muslim mm -hmm. and you are a so-called Christian, mm -hmm. so what happened? Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had several Muslim uh, admirers and I said, if you will follow me, if you will convert to Catholic, Catholicism, maybe I will like you. So they said, We'll think it over. Or they said, oh, no, we cannot be with a Catholic. You know, they have to almost be a Muslim. Um, so my husband, when I told him, if you will come back, thinking that the other said, we cannot follow what you want us to be. My husband said, OK, I made a mistake. He said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because the rest said they will not, they do not like to be converted. But my husband said, okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So he comes on giving 
coming to the house from nine o'clock in the morning up to nine. My, my mother said, what is this guy doing here? He's always here every day taking his uh, breakfast, his lunch, and his dinner. Oh, <laughs> but you know, he's just seated in one corner reading the newspaper, magazine. But I'm, I'm helping my mom in the kitchen. I don't even entertain him. He's just there sitting down every day, every day for one year. Okay, <laughs> but let's move fast forward. Mm -hmm. So now that uh, you got married mm -hmm. and dad is now a Catholic like you, mm -hmm. but then how did you get exposed to biblical Christianity? What happened and what year? How old were you when you were first uh, exposed to biblical Christianity? That was when you invited me in Sabuanga. Mm -hmm. He invited me in Sabuanga because there are two American couples who will give uh, what to go about healing. And I'm so interested with healing, you know. So I went to that uh, uh, one. He said, Mommy, it will take the whole day. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I just want to hear about healing. So when I went there, <coughs> Uh, then I attended a service. They were all clapping, jumping. I said, these people are crazy. <laughs> they were all standing, but I was just seated because I'm a Catholic. They, I don't know what kind of religion they have. They said they're Christian. I don't know. And so one time uh, during worship, everybody was singing. All their eyes are closed. I, it's only me that is with wide open eyes. So. I saw halo around their faces. Wow, everybody has a halo. I said, so I don't have one because everybody with their eyes closed. I said, Lord, I want to have that bright light. That's what <laughs> I said. But the following day was already, hallelujah. <laughs> you too. Yeah. I said, I became crazy. <laughs> now I'm crazy. I said, you know, that's how I started being uh, a Christian. Mm -hmm. And then this pastor, your one service called me, uh, Sister Elita, can you give us a lead us in a prayer? I said, I don't know how to pray a Christian prayer. I, you know, I, I would say I don't know how to pray, but I just prayed what I know how, what to pray for. So that started how I became a Christian. How old were you, Ma, at that time? Oh, maybe 55. So now you started to attend that local church, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that you're a Christian. Yeah. It just means that you were exposed mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. So when would you say did you come to realize that you are a sinner on your way to hell? Uh, one time with Mubita, we were together. We heard the uh, gospel, the preaching of the pastor. Where is this? Uh, what place is that? No, already here. In no, US? in yeah, here, here. Yeah. yeah. We were, we were, you, our tears were just, you know, it just, just, we, we because of the, the, the preaching, the word that the pastor was saying, so we were not crying, but tears were just uh, flowing down our cheeks. So that is, uh, this was many years after your first exposure in the Philippines, correct? Yeah. So many years already mm -hmm. have passed. Mm -hmm. So you have been exposed to Christianity, but you would say that you had a better understanding of Christianity only how many years later? Here, when I was here already. Okay, so can you give us a little, you know, explanation on that? What What do you mean by here already? What happened? What made you realize that you are truly in Christ? Uh, when every time we hear the preaching of the gospel, uh, the movie and I bought the bus were in a the corner. They were taking our, you know, uh, through television. I said, "Wow!" I said, "Why are they taking our picture?" Because they 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 were asking us why we were crying. They said we were touched by the word of God. So, and we believe. I believe then that I think I'm the sin. That that's why I was crying. I just say, Lord, I'm sorry for my sin. That's why I was Amen. crying. That mm. helps me. Yeah. Okay, and you're crying now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ma, um, this past year or so, you have been studying along with us. Mm -hmm. uh, what other changes have happened to you? Is there any other changes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was afflicted with hepatitis B, uh, asthma, and supposed to have a procedure in the heart if we call angioplasty. angioplasty. Yeah, angioplasty. So I got my Bible. I wrote down all the promises of God back and forth of that cardboard. So I, I, I memorize it day and night, day and I memorize it even in sleeping. I'm asleep, 
the words are coming into me. So I went to the doctor and to have a checkup and he said, what have you done? I said, why doctor? Your heart is okay. But before that, I went to a church in LA and uh, the pastor said, those who are sick come to the altar and we pray for you. When he did that, I fell down on the floor. But you know, I feel pain going around my heart. I said, Lord, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. It's so painful, it's so painful, it just hurts me. I did not know about that. So when I went to the, to my doctor, the doctor said, your heart is okay. So I connected it to, to the, mm. the, the, when I fell down and maybe the, the, the Lord was, you know, taking out whatever is in my heart. Wow. So yes. And then my asthma, my grandson had his wedding in what place is that in the Philippines? Buracay. Buracay. There was a storm. Uh, the doctor told me about my lungs. Take care of your lungs because your lungs is weak. Oh my goodness, it rained. I was soaking, soaking wet with the strong rain. And I said, Lord, I'm going to die. I'm going to die to myself. I was talking to myself. And then after that, uh, I, I also have this, uh, what do you call this? What? Uh, angioplasty, uh, asthma, and what did I say? Yeah, hepatitis B. Ha hepatitis B. I went to a doctor. The doctor said, you know, if you want, we try something that we have discovered to cure your, your hepatitis B. I said, no, no doctor, thank you, because I have a doctor. Who's your doctor? I said, oh, your doctor's the best doctor, he said. So I was encouraged because the doctor said, oh, you have the best doctor. So when he said, come back after one month, we'll check you. When I went back one month, no more, no more hepatitis B. So all of that was all healed by the Lord. All what one time, all of one, not one, not uh, hepatitis B first or uh, angioplasty first, no, all at one time I was healed. So I said, Lord, from this time on, from this time on, I will be like a leech. You know what a leech is? -E 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 leech, you mm. come up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll be okay. with you. Now, Ma, tell us also because early in your quote unquote Christian walk, mm. you have you have been very much involved with false teachers. You're very much involved with Benny Hinn, with uh, other people. So what was that transition? How did you find out that all of these are wrong teachings? Mm, I do not know. I just stopped uh, listening to them. I just stopped reading their books. I just, just stopped. I just stopped. Nobody told me they are false uh, prophets or false whatever. They didn't tell me about that. Yes, it's tough. Okay. So you came to know the Lord or started to know the Lord when you were 55. Mm -hmm. And typically, the older a person gets, is the lesser the probability of them to shift, to change their belief. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say to other people who probably are in your age or older? Um, because like you said, you know, Catholico Cerrado, Catholico was that? Candado. Mm -hmm. So it is oftentimes a lot more difficult to transit. Mm -hmm. So because of my experience with the Lord, my confidence is, uh, you know, trusting Him, believing Him because of what He's done, and uh, it is my antidote against loneliness and and uh, fear. So I said. As I read the Bible, I said, if the Lord is who he is, he is my, uh, what do you call this, my teacher, my healer, my deliverer, my, uh, 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 my, what do you call this, my peace, my high priest, all of that. I said, if he is that, why will I be afraid in everything? He is God, love, spirit, all, all of that. So I said, why should I be afraid? So one time I said, Lord, I will totally surrender my life to you. No. I will not worry anything for me. I'm not worried about myself. You will worry for me. <laughs> I talked to the Lord yeah. like that, you know, like he's just beside me. And I, last, last one, ma, talking okay. about worry. Mm. Two years ago, you lost two of your children mm -hmm. in uh, two months span time. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So what made you feel that you are strong in the Lord despite losing your children? Yeah, just 
like I said, because uh, I know who God is, 100 of who God is, I memorized that, I know all of that, 100. So every night I repeat it in my mind like ever. So when my two children were- Pass away? Mm -hmm, pass away. I, I, I said, Lord, is something wrong with me? I did not try like, ah! I did not try just tears pouring down on my face. I said, Lord, there's something wrong with me too. My kids is gone. Why I not am why am I not crying like like mm -hmm. others do when they lost somebody close to them? And the Lord says, Because I have given you peace. So I said, Lord, you are truly alive. You're truly alive, Lord. So that's why my life now, people ask me, what is your secret? My secret is the Lord. They they don't understand that. <laughs> Meaning to say, if uh, my well, the Lord is my secret, that means to say, you must read your Bible, be a Christian, do what is right. That's so, so because they're asking me, you're 88 years old. I said, yes, I'm 88. You're 88. I said, yes, blessed be the Lord. He has blessed me so much. So up to this time, I still argue with Pastor Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he always uh he always want to call me uh uh what do you call that discipline that discipline what's the other one correcting, correcting. no correcting. not correcting another Rebuke. one Rebuke. Rebuke. rebuking yes sir. if i say something mommy dare you again you believe i think don't say i believe i think you must read the word of god that you believe what you think <laughs> <laughs> so you're not supposed to say i think yeah, you we're not to supposed to say, I look. think. Oh. We must say, the word says, the not word, what yeah, you from, say. From the scripture. From the scripture. Do not believe. You read the word, what it says. So every time we come to the mouth. house, I'm, I'm scared to speak, you know, <laughs> to open my mouth. <laughs> but after that, we talk that, like nothing has happened because I, I, I prayed to the Lord, Lord, send me someone who can correct me. So he was the one. <laughs> okay. I prepared good food for him. But when he, when he hears something, I mean, mom, there you go again. Use this scripture. And his voice is so loud. My neighbor will be here. <laughs> okay, we'll end up that. <laughs> I know that God has no limit, okay? Yeah. His love has no limit. His grace has no measure and his power has no boundary. So that is how I live my life. Mm -hmm. God is always good. Mm -hmm. No matter what comes, yeah. Richard, do not be discouraged. Mm -hmm. Do not be discouraged. Mm -hmm. Just pray to the Lord, remain faithful. He is faithful. Believe me, he's faithful. Yeah. I have got a lot of problems, but I just go to the Lord. I don't go to my children and complain. I have no money. I don't go to them. I go directly to the Lord. In all of them, I never ask help from my children because I said, Lord, if you can, uh, if you have answered my prayers, I just go directly to you. And he uses people to help me when I ask for help. And those people are his, his her children. Yeah. <laughs> no, just like when when my children was still sick, I we were praying. My prayer was like this: Lord, help me, Lord. My my I, I need my children. Lord. Mm. All of a sudden, Debbie or my prayer partner, they immediately, you know, they they contributed immediately. Said I was not asking for help. Mm -hmm. I was just praying to the Lord for my children. Amen. Thank you, ma. <laughs> so we get, let's just pray. Father, we thank you for your for your word and for the works that you're doing uh, in each one of us. For my mom, Lord, despite of uh, uh, getting to know you uh, at later times of her of her life, we ask that you continue to use her to bless other people through her, through her, through the things that you have done to her and through her. Yes, Lord. So we thank you and we commit to you our time together in our study. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for listening to my story. <laughs>